Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here in Canada. I hope that uh, you're all having a good weekend so far. In this class, everybody, we are looking at IELTS task two. Um, this is a writing question that was sent to us by one of our students and you will see that it focuses on the topic of media content. The goal of this class will be to understand task two of the writing section of the IELTS exam, to understand the way to plan your essay for task two, and then of course a working example for a nice high band score. Welcome Fuang, hi Corlos, Jagrup, Dildora, Domenico, uh, nice to see many students joining in. Welcome Carolina, our chat moderator. If uh, people have questions and I'm not able to answer them, Carolina might be able to help you with it. Um, and um, as per usual, this class is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Visit us there for the general IELTS. Visit us at gialtshelp.com. Those websites are the companions to these live sessions. I use them all the time uh, for uh, practice exam materials, audio materials, and much, much more. So if you like these live classes, I strongly recommend going to the website aehelp.com for academic clicking that big red button that's right there and joining our premium IELTS package, getting access to the exams, um, interactive classes and much more videos. We are an official IDP British Council partner and uh, official IELTS test registration center. I'm a certified um, British Council agent. So, And yes, Vishal, we are uh, on the road to 2 million uh, subscribers on the YouTube channel. So you're in good hands with us. And it's worth spending a couple of dollars to invest into your learning um, to learn effectively in these live classes for general IELTS, green background, gieltshelp.com. Click that big red button there uh, to join the premium IELTS package. Again, it's a one-time payment uh, for lifetime access. This is a subscribers chat class, so you need to subscribe to join the chat. It's a good idea. Get notifications, hit that bell button, um, and, uh, and then you will know when these live classes are happening. Uh, you can get our apps from your app stores, Academic IELTS Help for the academic, and then uh, General IELTS Help, the app for general. And for Instagram, it's IELTS underscore AE help and G IELTS help. So follow us on Instagram, get uh, vocabulary, a little short, quick tip videos and more. And if you still have questions, send me an email. Adrian at aehelp.com. That's my email address. Um, you're good to go. Uh, students, uh, we've got uh, writing task two right now. We will look at the question in just a second. Um, and then uh, tomorrow, we've got speaking part two and speaking part three. And then um, we will have another reading session on uh, Discord on Sunday. Uh, the Discord channel is IELTS Prep. I'll put the link into the uh, chat for that class. It's a free class that's on Discord. It's the biggest uh, dis uh, IELTS uh, group on Discord. It's called IELTS Prep. We are their official partners for Discord, um, which is awesome. And so we look forward to doing a class with them there on Sunday morning. And then, of course, uh, new videos are coming out all the time on YouTube. We've got this new video for you to help you learn effectively. Oh, there you go. Um, that's uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, Vijay, the vocab list in the app is embedded in the course, or you can go to the blog and find it there as well. All right. Um, so IELTS task two writing. Um, here's the question. I can see now that the screen's a little bit 
big, so we'll make it smaller. There we go. Okay, now you can see it clearly. Um, IELTS task two writing, okay, it's 40 minutes. You have 40 minutes to complete the essay from start to finish, and that does not mean you're just writing for 40 minutes, okay? Um, you need to plan for three minutes and review for three minutes. Write for 34 minutes, give or take. If you need a little bit more time to plan and review, that's fine. And you're writing for 30 minutes, that's fine too, okay? Um, only do the computer-based exam if you can touch type, okay? Otherwise, do the paper-based exam. So here's the question for today. First step, step one, read the question carefully. Carefully, okay, take your time, don't rush. I know you just probably finished the reading section. Unless you're in India, there's a new version or new uh, structure for the exam where the writing comes first, but otherwise, uh, read the question carefully. That's the main point here. So here we go, read with me. Um, giving a detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on TV can have negative consequences. So this kind of information should be restricted in the uh, media. Uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Uh, th this question, by the way, again, was sent by one of our uh, members. So um, if you are a member of our YouTube channel, uh, you can become a member by clicking the join button beside the subscribe button. You can request classes. And I'm sure this member thought that, oh, this is a kind of a tricky question. I wonder what Adrian would say about it. And you're about to find out. Um, so uh, good question. Write at least 250 words. Uh, the, the key point here is at least, okay? That means minimum. Um, keep in mind, students, band seven to nine essays. I'm going to say always have more words, closer to 300, even 320. Okay, 300, 320 words, all right? So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Vijay, yeah, to request classes, it is one of the perks um, to be a member. So yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, so let's uh, go to the next step. Step two is to paraphrase. Okay, um, so you paraphrase the question. It means you rewrite it in your own words um, to have clarity and to get ideas. This doesn't mean that it's your introduction. You can use it in your essay, but this is not necessarily your introduction. Just paraphrasing a question does not introduce it, okay, necessarily, all right? Okay. Um, so uh, here we go, let's paraphrase this. I'm going to uh, write um, this in my own um, uh, way, okay? So giving, providing, a detailed, uh, precise, precise, uh, description, details. I'm just using synonyms so far, okay? Of crimes, of illegal, activity in newspapers in uh, written and video media or news I'm uh, collecting information I'm collecting vocabulary in my head here now viewers subscribers 
members, this is a writing class. So write, okay, write your own paraphrasing. Let me see what you have, okay? I will take it from the chat and correct it. I'm looking at the chat while we're doing this here. Let's see, there you all are. I can, I'm watching all of you chatting. I have multiple screens and I'm looking at what I'm doing. I'm looking at what you're doing. So I'm looking um, for your writing, especially. Okay, so put your, um, your writing into the chat and then I can uh, take a look at that, okay? All right. So, um, so far, giving a detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on TV. Uh, providing precise details of legal activity in written and video media or news uh, can have negative consequences, um, can cause uh, problems. So this kind of information should be restricted in the media. Therefore, this type of content um, ought to be limited in uh, the in public uh, awareness or public communication. Public broadcasting, let's use that instead. I'm thinking of the word media and I'm trying to think of words that are good to paraphrase the word media. What is media, right? That's what I'm trying to think of here. Like what is media? Um, media is the news, media is the TV, uh, social media, right? So those big TV channels, CNN, CTV, BBC, Okay, um, and they're really broadcasting, right? So broadcasting. Um, so public broadcasting is a good way to paraphrase uh, media. And then to what extent do you agree or disagree? Uh, to what degree um, uh, are you... Um, on the same uh, side as this statement. Okay, sure. Now, when I have the paraphrasing, then I want to read the original and um, read the uh, paraphrasing to make sure that it makes uh, sense. So giving a detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on TV can have negative consequences. So this kind of information should be restricted in the media. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Providing precise details of illegal activity in written and video media news can cause problems. Therefore, this type of content ought to be limited to public in public broadcasting. Uh, to what degree are you on the same side as this statement? Okay, that makes sense. I'm starting to get a better understanding, a clearer picture. Now, again, remember what I said here at the beginning. Some of you are probably like, three minutes, Adrian. You said just prepare for three minutes. Yeah, I mean, when you practice, this is happening very quickly. This would only take me about 20 seconds, this paraphrasing, okay? Even if it takes me a minute, it's fine. Um, Vishal, let's see what Vishal says. Okay, we've got a few different uh, responses now, so let's take a few of these. Vishal uh, writes, offense-related news had been sitcom on TV. That does not make sense, so let's make it clear English. Um, offensive news on TV and 
in print. In print would be newspapers. So offensive news on TV and in print uh, may. So Vishal, obviously here you need to simplify your language a bit to make it clear and comprehensible. Offensive news on TV and in print may adversely affect society or individuals, sure. Hence, it is believed by many that this kind of news should be banned. Um, should be limited. Banned and limited are not the same. Okay. Uh, however, I am in commute discord with it does not make sense at all. Okay. So if you write something like that, Vishal, you're going to get a very low ban score because your writing has to be comprehensible. Okay. If the uh, reader cannot understand what you are writing, your ban score goes. Yeah. Um, so uh, to what extent do you agree? Or oppose this idea? Okay. So that makes more sense. All right. So I had to rewrite most of that, Vishal. Be really careful. Your original writing would be like a band four. Uh, maybe a band five, but not really. Um, so you have to be careful, okay? So it's sensible, all right? It, read it to yourself. Make sure it makes sense. Give it to somebody else to read. They should say it makes sense. If it doesn't, then you have to think about how to make it sensible. Okay, um, let's say J. This is what J writes for the paraphrasing. Uh, J writes, um, in modern era, where do we see that? Um, so the original question says, giving a detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on TV. Um, I don't cj anywhere where it says in the modern era uh, do not add information that you don't see in the question okay uh, so don't write in the modern era there's no nobody said that nobody's writing that in the question um, it's not just the modern era it could be the last hundred years since tv and newspapers are around um, Jay, uh, criminal related issues. Uh, let's simplify that. Criminal activity. Okay. Has been increasing in our world. Um, doesn't say that. Uh, so let's remove that. Criminal activity. Should not be shown freely on media because um, it has negative consequences on people. Do you, uh, to what extent do you agree or disagree? with this all right so jay um the big tip here is do not write information in your paraphrase uh, that is not given okay it's not paraphrasing if you're adding your own information then you're just writing your own information so be really careful okay students good paraphrasing needs to be accurate Um, and uh, it cannot include extra information that is not given. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay. All right, um, so don't worry people, I'll be looking at more and more writing as we move along here. All right, so um, step one, read the question carefully. Step two, paraphrase the question for clarity. Uh, step three, identify the topic. Very important. Uh, 
Identify the topic and the controlling idea. The topic, what is it? What are we discussing in this uh, question? So here's the original question. When you think about the topic, the controlling ideas, you should always think about the original question. So uh, giving a detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on TV can have negative consequences. So this kind of information should be restricted in the media. What's the topic of this question? Fuang says limited negative information on social. Uh, Chayani says illegal information. Uh, neither of those are good. Uh, Kim says the topic is crime and media. Okay. Uh, June Cook says crime activity. So when you see so many different answers to what is the topic, that's when you know that we're in trouble. A lot of people are not thinking about the same idea. It sounds like we're going to get a lot of different essays at this point. Rajveer says, the topic is crime-related details in uh, media. Yeah, Rajveer, that's pretty good. We can say that in a, even a little bit of a better way. So Baljeet says crime. That's too simple, Baljeet. It's a bit more than that. Uh, Rajveer is closer, okay? Uh, Chen says it's the consequences of crime associated ads. That's uh, a little bit off. Ugh. This is why I think that uh, member uh, asked me to do this class with this question is because I think it's confusing for a lot of people. So let's um, let's get um, this clear. Okay, so the topic is detailed description of crime in media. It's a bit of a longer uh, definition here. Um, but the topic, what we're talking about is detailed description of crime in media. That's what we're talking about. That's what this essay is asking about. It's the detailed description of crimes in the media. Okay, that's the topic. So um, if I had to give a title, now you do not need a title in the IELTS exam. Okay. So you do not need to give your essay a title in the IELTS. But if you did, it would be the topic. More or less. I'm not going to get into too much explanation. It would be somewhat the topic. Okay. All right. So that title could be detailed description of crimes in the uh, media. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? So that's what we're talking about here. And then what's the controlling idea? So what would be the controlling idea of the question? Again, look at the original question. And students, you're probably thinking, oh, but Adrian, I only have 40 minutes to write. Absolutely. That's why it has to be good writing. If you don't write about the correct topic or controlling idea, your band score will go, it'll deflate like a bouncy castle with a big hole in it. Um, so you have to uh, have the right topic and the right controlling idea okay so again giving a detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on tv can have negative consequences so this kind of information should be restricted in the media to what extent do you agree or disagree what's the controlling idea okay 
so Hussein says violent activities in print and on screen have negative influences. Furthermore, this type of content should be limited. That's your paraphrase, Hussein. Okay. That's not the controlling idea. Romelia says common knowledge that the display of crimes has a detrimental effect on society. I'm not sure. Okay, um, pessimistic outcomes, Amma, not sure where we're going with that. Sarah says the negative effects of crimes on, uh, of crime news on the public. Um, no, not quite. Uh, Baljeet says descriptive crimes should be restricted or not. Um, yeah, Balji, you're definitely on the right track. So, um, the controlling idea is um, whether or not restrictions should be placed on um, criminal content in the media. Okay? That's the controlling idea. That's basically your opinion. So the topic, detailed description of crimes in the media, controlling idea, whether or not restrictions should be placed uh, on criminal activity uh, or content in the media. Just two seconds, uh, students, while you're thinking about this, I'm going to close a window. noisy vehicle outside my studio so okay all right um so uh we've got the topic we've got the controlling idea now we can prepare our thoughts okay um and the next step step four and these steps students are happening very quickly in the actual ielts once you've practiced them at home is think critically about the topic and controlling idea. Okay, um, so that means ask uh, what, um, why, and how about the topic and controlling idea. Okay. So let's do that together. Um, what does it mean uh, to uh, show detailed criminal activity in the media? Uh, what does that mean? Answer that for me in a simple way. So what does it mean? And then the next question, of course, is why? So why does the media uh, show details of criminal activity? Um, and then the next question, of course, and I'm doing this, uh, so answer these questions as you're thinking about the answers. I'm showing you a little bit of uh, fluid thinking here. So thinking quickly, thinking on your feet systematically. So how uh, does the media uh, show details of uh, criminal activity? Okay, answer there, all right. So these are basically the questions that we ask, right? What does it mean to show detail? Now, and you're thinking, well, Adrian, I'm wasting so much time. I should just be writing at this point. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, but this is your writing. So when you're answering these questions in your head, then you are basically creating your essay. Um, and of course, you're doing this in English, students. So when you're thinking about the questions and you're thinking about the answers, think about them in English. Okay. 
Um, okay, Archie says it means people learn the methods and the techniques of how to commit crime, how to rob and assassinate humankind, okay? Um, Corlos says make people more violent. I'm not sure where we're going with that, Corlos. Unurban says have a censorship or graphic details of the crime. Um, Mokhrajat says court procedures. So we're getting lots of different answers. Uh, a lot of your answers are questions. That's a big mistake, students. Okay, so this is a very important tip here. Tip. When you are planning your essays, not just for IELTS, but for university, work, or school, do not answer questions with questions. Instead, answer with a statement okay I can see a lot of you answering questions with more questions that will not make for good writing that will not make for clear writing so be careful about that okay <clears throat> so uh, what does it mean to show detailed criminal activity in the media okay it means um, to present the public with uh, information about time, location, activity, and people involved in illegal behavior um, such as violence, vandalism, and theft okay that would be my answer all right the more you practice this the better you will get at this and the better your writing will get and the better your IELTS score will get so if you ask me what does it mean to show detailed criminal activity in the media it means to present the public with information about time location activity people involved in illegal behavior such as violence vandalism and theft Hopefully, you agree with me. Um, why does the media show details of criminal activity? This is shown because it is informative, uh, popular, lucrative, Um, this is shown because it is informative, popular, and lucrative. Uh, lucrative means they can make money, right? Many people watch the news. They can sell the advertising. They can make money. Um, it's popular, but it's also informative. So people know what's happening around them. Okay, let's not forget about that part, right? They know what they need to be careful about to stay safe, to stay out of danger. Okay? All right. Um, and then how does the media show details of criminal activity? Uh, the media uses uh, video, audio, um, interviews, journalists and um, witnesses to report uh, the uh, criminal activity, right? Okay, that's how they do it, right? They go out, they take pictures, they make videos, they talk to people. And that's how they do it okay is everybody on the same page as me so far so everybody is clear um, so I'm doing this nice and fast just to show you that when you practice this and you're doing this regularly and you know the system to understanding a question interpreting the topic the controlling idea figuring out what it is why is it how is it then you can come up with good ideas and then you can put together a good essay okay yeah Mohammed says yes 
Baljeet says, somehow I'm following. Yes. Um, Rajveer agrees. Yes. Nice. Carolina, thumbs up. Good. So we're all on the same page, more or less. Now, I need to do the same with um, the controlling ideas. So um, the uh, level of restriction. Um, so giving detailed accounts um, of... Uh, you know, criminal activity should be restricted, right? And one skill or one technique that you should never forget is visualization. So always apply visualization and empathy. So imagine the situation, think about it, see it in your head, okay? Be creative and empathize with it, okay? Um, let me ask you, um, do you think uh, that uh, detailed criminal activity should be uh, restricted in the media? Give me an answer for this. I'm going to show you something here and I think you'll find this interesting. All right, so do you think that it should be restricted? So do you think that the news and newspapers and television media should limit um, the detailed description of crimes? Okay, Archie says definitely. Baljeet says yes, it should be. Okay, Shuk says yes, definitely. Fuang says no. Uh, Jagrup says yes. Chai and Kip says absolutely. So most of you seems like you say yes, yes, it should be. Okay, a few of you are saying no, there's more and more no's. Okay, uh, let's visualize and let's use sympathy. You turn on the TV. I'm just going to give you this situation um, and uh, you tell me if you changed your mind, okay? You turn on the television and the uh, journalist in the news says there has been a uh, there is a, a serial killer out there but I cannot tell you more because I am restricted to give you details <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, um, but I'm just laughing at the, the situation, students, here, not the actual uh, information. So you turn on the TV, and the journalist says, there's a serial killer out there, uh, but I can't tell you more because I'm restricted to give you details. Um, what's your thoughts? What are you feeling at this point? Should the uh, journalist be restricted from the details or no? Okay, and I the, so I know it's harsh, and I know my example is extreme, but I'm hoping that this way I can really uh, encourage you to always visualize the situation and uh, empathize with the situation. Okay, um, so there's a serial killer out there, but I can't tell you more because I'm restricted to give you the details. Should it be restricted or not? Baljeet says, I've changed my mind. Yeah, so me personally, a difference of opinion, okay? So some of you are like, yeah, Adrian, I, I don't want to know anymore. Okay, there's a serial killer out there. Don't tell me more because I'm just going to be scared and I won't leave my house. Fine, okay, that's your choice, right? So you, you have the right to that choice. Uh, me personally, if I think about this, and this is personal, I'm gonna you know let you know that it's personal. I don't think I have the only answer here, but personally, I would say no, give me as much information uh, as possible. Um, so I would want to know, for example, where is this killer? Um, who are they targeting? Um, when are they doing the crime? 
This allows me to prepare and protect myself and the people I love. Okay, and society. Okay, so information is power, students. Information is, um, is definitely um, the most useful tool that we have. I mean, think about the importance of the internet for us, right? Um, so um, if I know that this serial killer is, you know, create a causing crime in my area and they're targeting uh, people with brown eyes and beards, <laughs> I'm going to be extra careful um, when I'm walking home at night if they're targeting guys with brown eyes and beards. OK, maybe I'll shave my beard. OK. Um, so information is, is power in society and um, it's very dangerous to ignore uh, information, okay? Uh, Sarah says, <laughs> no, I'm gonna sh Sarah, I will shave the beard, okay? So by visualizing and by creating empathy, I can create um, a much better thought process and I can figure out, you know, to what degree. So then I can create my thesis statement, okay? So by thinking critically and visualizing and using empathy, Using empathy means that I'm putting myself in the situation, okay? I can come up with much better points uh, for the essay. Okay? So now I can answer this question and I can come up with my thesis statement. Okay, so the thesis statement is a clear sentence that tells the reader the position of the writer, that's you in the IELTS, and the argument points, okay? A lot of students write very simple thesis statements in the IELTS without even knowing that it's the thesis statement because they're just copying what their teacher told them or what they saw on YouTube. But simple thesis statements do not get good band scores, okay? So uh, the most common thesis statements, okay, it's a band five, is like this. Um, I somewhat agree and disagree uh, with this opinion and this essay will uh, discuss these points. Okay, uh, why is this a band five uh, thesis statement? I somewhat agree and disagree with this opinion and this essay will discuss these points. Why is this band five? You can't, even if you have perfect English, perfect spelling, perfect grammar, this is band five. Why is it a band five? Fuang says it's neutral. Yeah, it doesn't take a position, right? It's like, why do I care? Like, it's such a boring essay. It talks about both sides. It doesn't give an opinion. It doesn't promote a choice. So, um, yeah, it's bad for a few reasons. It's bad because there's no clear position. And what else? So there's no clear position and there's no what else? Yeah, Quran, exactly. It's on the fence. There's no clear what else? There's no clear argument. Right? So there's no clear points. It's like, and I will discuss these points. What points? 
right? My as the reader, the examiner, right now you haven't told me anything yet. It's like a sentence that literally just wasted my life. I know that sounds so harsh, but that's exactly what your examiner is thinking and in university, that's exactly what your professor's thinking is that this student just wasted five seconds of my life that I had to read this sentence that has absolutely zero value to any argument or rhetoric, okay? So this is a band five. So let's uh, compare this to a band nine, okay? And um, Anir Bun says, I believe there should be censorship in the level of details being reported to make sure it does not impact kids psychologically and to ensure it does not encourage anyone else in the future. On your bun, that would be a good thesis. Just don't use contractions. So you support the idea, right? I'm going to go with the disagree idea, okay? Yeah, Patek, absolutely don't say this essay will discuss. It's useless, okay? It's wordy, it's a template, okay? And exactly, Domenico, you have to show the examiner where you stand. Yeah, I'm happy to see that there are so many students out there who are starting to understand um, the um, right way to approach these essay questions much, much more. And that makes me feel good because I know that when you go to your university classes, you will also do a lot better. You're not going to get shocked with a lot of negative experiences with essays. So band nine. Um, Okay, let's look at the original question. So, uh, giving detailed description of crimes in newspapers and on TV can have negative consequences, so this kind of information should be restricted in the media. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay, here is my band nine thesis. I completely disagree that details of crimes uh, should be limited in the media because the uh, public needs uh, to make informed decisions And what? What would be a good second point? I'm thinking. I don't know, right? This is sometimes what happens um, to a student is they get stuck. They get stuck for ideas and I'm stuck for ideas, right? So I, I know that one reason I completely disagree um, that crime should be limited or details of crime should be limited is because the public needs to make informed decisions, right? Um, and that's one point. And I can't think of another point right now. So what should I do? Okay, we ne we've never talked about this and I want to bring up this, um, this point. Okay, on your bun, you're on the right track, but I don't want to spoil it yet, right? So what should I do if I can't finish my thesis statement? I'm wondering if anybody can figure it out. What would be a good strategy to do at this point? And this is especially where the computer-based exam is useful because when you're typing, it's a little bit easier to do this than when you're doing the paper-based exam. Hussein says brainstorm. Fuang says look at what, why, and how. <laughs> Jay says meditate. Um, Baljeet says think about the general idea. I say don't worry about it. Start writing, okay? Now point two has to be unique, right? Um, so we'll get there, uh, but um, uh, let's just start writing, 
okay? So uh, here we go, okay? It doesn't matter, I have one point. Having one point is good enough to start my first body paragraph. So if I don't know what my second point is yet, and I don't know what my second body paragraph will be, that's okay. It, I might realize that as I write, okay? So I will probably, hopefully, realize my second point while I write. Okay, now in a perfect world, you definitely have your two points before you start writing, okay? But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Oftentimes, while you're writing, as long as you have one clear point, the second point will suddenly click. It'll be like, ah, yes, of course, that's another good reason why it's good to have detailed information of criminal activity uh, in the news, right? Um, okay, so far, I definitely know that one reason is that so that the public can make informed decisions. All right, so I'm going to start with that and I have all the information I need to start my introduction and my body paragraph one. Everybody got that? Okay, so a lot of people just sometimes get stuck and if they get stuck, yeah, don't worry about it. Now this again, the computer-based exam is better because computer-based exam, you can move around a little bit more, okay? All right, um, so let's do this and then we can get to point two. So let's start with the introductory paragraph. Okay, a good introductory paragraph will have a thesis, or sorry, well, it will, but should have a hook, should have background, and should have a thesis, okay? So those are the three parts of a good introduction. Hook, background, thesis. This is not Adrian telling you to do this. It's not this guy. Um, it's the code of English literature. And in fact, not just English literature, but literature in general. So if you are writing essays in other languages, it's the same rules. If you learn literature and writing, it's the same rules, okay? Uh, Paper-based students, you're going to have to be a little bit more careful, Baljeet, with how you uh, space your writing and what you do. With paper-based, I definitely recommend trying to figure out your second point before you start writing, but it's still not the end of the world. Just leave a little bit of a space for your second idea and definitely figure it out before you write your second body paragraph, Baljeet, okay? All right. So here we go. Um, don't Again, don't start guessing and wasting a whole bunch of time figuring out your second point. That should come to you, okay? All right, introductory paragraph. Why are we taught, what's the hook, right? Okay, so. There. People often see detailed reports of criminal activity in newspapers and on TV. Boom. Topic is there. Simple, clear sentence. Catches the reader. Right? That's your hook. People often see detailed reports on criminal activity in newspapers and on TV. This type of content is popular in the media because um, it, oh, what was that? Oh, it's in my uh, uh, critical thinking, right? It's informative and it's lucrative. So this type of content is popular in the media because it is informative and uh, lucrative. It gets people interested and sells advertising. But it may also have negative uh, consequences. Okay, 
So that's the background. That's why we're interested in this, okay? So the first sentence is the hook. The second sentence is the um, background. How am I able to write so quickly? Because I've planned it, I've thought about it. All of these ideas have rushed through my head in the 30 minutes, okay? Um, lucrative, Sarah, means that it makes money. It's money-making, okay? It can make money. It's a money-making opportunity, okay? All right. Um, step by step, students, don't try to don't try to go to the second body paragraph yet. We'll get there. We will get there. Okay. All right. Focus on your hook. Focus on your background. Focus on the thesis. Okay. Here's my thesis. Although some people may believe that detailed uh, criminal or detailed uh, crime should be limited in public broadcasting and then my thesis Let me just move this down so that you can see it clearly. Okay. I completely disagree that the details of crime, I can simplify this. I completely um, disagree because the public needs to make informed decisions and, okay. All right. So. I don't know what my second point is yet, but I don't care. I'll come to that. I just need to write. I need to get my thoughts flowing. I need to get words on the paper. I need to get a good band score. Okay. On team, no, Indian IELTS examiners do not give lower band scores than foreign examiners. It's standardized. Okay. Uh, Rajveer says, for the hook, people are flooded with a lot of details about crimes in newspapers and on TV. Very good, Rajveer. That works. I like the use of the word flooded. Honey, uh, it's not about exaggerating. That's extra information that you are adding. It's not talked about. Corlo says technology is rapidly giving a lot of criminal details involved in media. Corlos, there's nothing to do with technology here. Uh, Sabina, you're not even using English there, so I'm not sure where you're going with that for the IELTS. Okay. Uh, Baljeet, uh, media is a great way to show people descriptive crime scenes on TV and in newspapers. I don't think, Baljeet, that we're talking about the media being a great way um, to show it. Um, it's maybe an effective way, um, but even better is it's popular. Um, so the media is a popular way to show descriptive criminal activity. Okay, so a little bit careful there with your word choice, Baljeet, or your ideas. Um, it helps people to get informed, but the media companies get paid with this approach. It's not an opposition. It's, um, it's happening at the same time, Baljeet. So while media companies earn more money. Okay. Okay, and Baljeet says, however, I utterly disagree with this notion. What notion? right? That it has to be limited. You have to be clear there, Baljeet. Okay. So be careful, everybody. Uh, it is working. I'm not sure why it froze. So um, yeah, that hasn't happened in a long time, but let me just check. Okay. Uh, so give me two seconds. Can you still hear me? Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's my webcam or let me, yeah, it's still saying that it's active. So 
Uh, it could be YouTube. Can you hear me okay? Audio is fine, but the camera is not. Okay. Uh, let me let me see if I can fix that. Just give me one second. Okay. All right. Hopefully that'll fix it. Um, sometimes it's the USB controllers. Okay. There you go. So, on your bun says, you're back. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, uh, back to the point here. Okay. All right. So, we have our introductory paragraph. When you finish writing your introductory uh, paragraph, make sure to read it. Your most important paragraph is your introduction. It's the first impression for the examiner. So, having a good introduction leads to good band scores. Having a bad introduction leads to bad band scores, okay? So pay attention. People often see detailed reports of criminal activity in newspapers and on TV. This type of content is popular in the media because it is informative and lucrative. It gets people interested in sales advertising, but it may also have negative consequences. Although some people may believe that detailed crime should be limited, in public broadcasting, we can just say in broadcasting. I completely disagree because the public needs to make informed decisions. Okay, body paragraph one. Body paragraph one has a topic sentence, explanation, example. Okay, and a connecting sentence. All right, the topic sentence, very simply put, is a clear definition of um, the uh, point. So the point here is public needs to make informed decisions. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give a detailed definition of that. Okay. So that's a deeper definition of public needs to make informed decisions. Every day, individuals make thousands of important decisions. Now I have decisions, decisions. So when I'm reviewing this or if I'm thinking quickly on my toes, I can change it to choices, right? It doesn't have to be super fancy, okay? So every day, individuals make thousands of important choices based on the news that they hear on TV or read in the newspapers, okay? Um, when citizens, this is my explanation, okay? Um, when citizens hear and see information about criminal activity such as now here again I'm using my thoughts from preparation right remember here in the planning um, the uh, what does it mean to show detailed criminal activity in the media it says to present the public with information about the time location activity people involved in legal behavior such as violence vandalism theft so i'm using this information to write my body paragraph okay so when citizens hear and see information about criminal activity such as violence 
theft and vandalism in their locality, they can take action to protect their uh, possessions and health effectively by implementing certain security measures. Okay. All right. So that's my explanation to this idea of making choices based on what we read in the newspapers about criminal activity. So when citizens hear and see information about criminal activity, such as violence, theft and vandalism in their locality, they can take action to protect their possessions and health effectively by implementing certain security measures. Indeed, when there was um, late night muggings in my area last year, I avoided going out after 8 p.m. and I carried uh, pepper spray with me. I'm completely making this up. Canada, thankfully, is uh, quite safe. Okay, um, so that would be my example. Okay, makes sense. So writing a good essay is really like a recipe um, and there are more ways uh, to do it or more types of content, but um, uh, the important point here is connecting and notice how information connects information. Okay, all right. Um, Sarah, you're asking criminal activity or activities? Uh, I'm not sure which place. Uh, criminal um, act, criminal activity um, is okay. You can use singular or plural there. Sarah, both are okay in this situation. Yeah, muggings. <laughs> Good. Um, the word muggings, I was wondering when somebody was going to ask that. So uh, Amra is asking, what, what does muggings mean? A mug, a mugging. A mugging is basically when somebody steals your belongings um, by attacking you. Okay. So a mugging, um, a person steals... Uh, your possessions by forcefully uh, taking it from you. Okay, so it's a very scary situation, obviously, but it's when somebody comes up to you and says, hey, give me your wallet or give me your watch. Okay, that's called a mugging. Mugging, you're being mugged. Mugged. Okay. Definitely write down new vocabulary, students, as you learn it. Okay, so that's a mugging. Um, all right, now, um, I have a question for you, okay? So here I have my example. Indeed, when there were late night muggings in my area last year, I avoided going out after 8 p.m. and I carried pepper spray with me. It's a good example, but I can make it better. What's missing from my example? Something is missing from my example and you're the examiner, you're looking for a band nine essay. So far this is, well, you're thinking, it might be a band nine, but I think it's more like a band eight. This could be better. Um, with band eight, band nine, so when you're up in that band 7.5, band eight, band nine category, it's all about content. You have to have good grammar. You have to have good spelling at band seven, band eight, band nine. More importantly, you need more good content. 
How could I make the example better? Indeed, when there were late night muggings in my area last year, I avoided going out after 8 p.m. and I carried pepper spray with me. Amra says exact location or the connecting sentence. Harry Jot says international example. No, no, those are not, 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 not what I'm looking for. Chen says these days newspapers and TV have become one of the most reliable sources for them to make decisions. Um smuggling yep smuggling is a different word louis patek says the reason you gave the example the outcome nope so how can i make this example better yeah rajveer very good raj okay everyone so as you can see from the little gold face here in rajveer's i'm going to show this because it's important and this is when you study hard and study lots then you get really good at um, essay writing. So you can see here that uh, Rajveer has this uh, gold uh, little head uh, by his name. And that's because Rajveer has been a member for a long time and he's learned a lot of good information from uh, the channel. And Rajveer is correct. Rajveer says that you read about it from the newspaper. That was Rajveer's suggestion, that that's what's missing from your example. Exactly, Rajveer. My example is not directly related to the media, right? So I can make my example better by relating it to the clear subject of this task too. Indeed, when I read about late night muggings in my no local newspaper, Uh, in my area, late night muggings. Um, let's make the correct order here. So indeed, uh, when I read about late night muggings in my area last year in my local newspaper, I avoided going out after 8 p.m. and I carried pepper spray with me. So does everybody see how now that example directly relates to detailed criminal activity in the media? Therefore, I disagree with the idea to restrict it, okay? So this is a clear reason that I am against restricting uh, detailed information about crime in the media or in the public eye. There's another way to say media, public eye. Okay. All right. So now um, I have my first body paragraph. I'm happy about it. Now I can go back to um, thinking about my second uh, point. Okay. So I read, and if I don't know my second point yet, all I have to do is not freak out, but I review. Okay. So if I still don't know my second point, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to review my body paragraph, all right? So every day, individuals make thousands of important choices based on the news that they hear on TV or read in the newspapers. When citizens hear and see information about criminal activity, such as violence, theft, and vandalism in their locality, uh, if you don't know the word locality, you can use city, area, town, okay? you can use simpler vocabulary to express the same ideas. They can take action to protect their possession and health effectively by implementing certain security measures. Indeed, when I read about late night muggings in my area last year in my local newspaper, I avoided going out after 8 p.m. and I carried pepper spray with me. This is a clear reason that I'm against restricting detailed information about crime in the public eye. Uh, furthermore, um, freedom of speech is a fundamental right of all people and this includes the media 
and uh, details of criminal activity. Okay, so in my essay, I am going to write about the right for freedom of speech, okay? So as I realized by writing this, the media has to have the freedom to report what they want, when they want. As soon as we start limiting the information or restricting the information in the media, we get into a very dangerous social situation of uh, controlled information, and this is an age-old debate, but most people agree that freedom of information is very important, and that's why the constitution of most countries says that freedom of speech and freedom of media is the right of every citizen. So here I'm going back to my thesis statement. Although some people may believe that detailed crime should be limited in broadcasting, I completely disagree because the public needs to make informed decisions and freedom of speech uh, must be protected. Okay, so that's my point number two. Does that make sense? So I came up with that um, thinking about the macro. Uh, if some of you were in my uh, previous class with the reading, I gave you this very important piece of advice that when you are thinking about ideas in the IELTS exam for your answers in the reading, for your answers in the speaking, for your ideas in the writing, you have to think both micro and macro. Okay, does everybody remember that? So here's a big tip for you, okay? When you are coming up with answers and ideas, especially when you're stuck, make sure to think micro and macro. Think about the individual and society. Okay, so Fuang says micro and macro, yes, sir. Okay, uh, examiners love that kind of um, intelligent thinking where the candidate is able to approach questions both from the specific, the individual, and the macro, the society, or the larger picture. Okay, so examiners love um, the dynamic uh, micro uh, macro approach to thinking and answers okay all right and kellen it's not macaroni it's macro macro meaning the big picture okay micro meaning the small picture and macro meaning the big picture All right, so uh, students, a couple of important points from today's session. Number one, you have to write a good thesis, okay? Your thesis has to be direct, it has to have clear points. That's how you get a high band score on your writing. That's a very important part of getting a high band score in your writing, okay? My goal here is to teach you band seven to nine because I know that's what all of you want to get is higher than 6.5. You cannot write a template essay if you want to get a good score, okay? If you don't have clarity on your key points right away, it's fine. If you have one good key point, start with that. Give your brain a chance to think of the other key point later on. Not a big deal, okay? If you're still stuck, remember, visualize, be empathetic to the situation. So think about it. What would happen to me if the news did not give me all the information about criminal activity in my neighborhood? Okay. 
what happens if they give it to my children, right? Well, don't let your children watch the six o'clock news, all right? Um, and also think micro and think macro. So this is my topic sentence for my second uh, body paragraph. And now I just write an explanation example and then the conclusion. I challenge you for homework to come up with a second point. You can use this point if you'd like, or you can come up with a completely different second point. And you can finish this essay and send your complete essay to me by email to adrian at aehelp.com. So send me your completed essay and me or one of my colleagues will get back to you with a band score estimate. We'll let you know um, what kind of band level your essay might get. And then you have a good idea of what you need to do to improve or how much you need to do to improve, okay? Again, students, uh, if you like this class, I know uh, all of you in the chat are subscribers, um, and that's great. Uh, and uh, many of you are members, that's even better. Um, and the best way to uh, improve your English, your communication, your writing skills, is by joining our website, aehelp.com or gieltshelp.com. aehelp.com is for academic IELTS. gieltshelp.com is for general IELTS. This is the academic website here. It's a blue background. You click that big red button right there to join the premium package. Um, and it's a one-time payment for lifetime access. I'm a British Council agent. I have sat the IELTS exam. I have marked the IELTS exam. I know what's going on for the IELTS exam. I'm teaching you the steps to getting high band scores. I will not teach you templates because templates don't get high band scores. So learn the right uh, skills. Uh, go to the website, uh, study there. Uh, we've got exams for you, interactive courses, videos, general IELTS, same idea, green background. It's that big red button right there, uh, one-time payment, lifetime access. Um, Naveen says, we need more sessions like this for writing. Naveen, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, okay? All right, uh, Mohammed, we do have complete essays uh, on the websites and in other videos on the YouTube channel as well. So if you wanna see a whole essay, just check out some of the other uh, videos on the channel and you'll definitely find some. Um, this time I'm challenging you to complete the essay. Body paragraph two follows the same structure as body one. Topic sentence, explanation, related example, okay, and maybe a connecting sentence, not so important. All right, students, uh, that's it for now, but I'm back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing speaking part two cue card and speaking part three, the follow-up questions to the cue card. So make sure to come back tomorrow, enjoy some English with me lessons, enjoy improving communication and love of learning, everyone. Uh, keep up the good work. Carolina, thank you for your help. I saw that there was a lot of work in the chat today. I appreciate it. And thank you to all of our subscribers and all of our viewers. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from Victoria, Canada. Much love to all of you. Bye for now, everyone.